Hello everyone, welcome uh, to our English class. Uh, I can uh, see that you are already saying hello in the chat. So hello everyone, welcome, welcome guys. Uh, so sometimes I will look here because here I can see all of your messages. In this, uh, I have uh, in this side of uh, the screen, I have my phone and I can see all of your messages. Uh, so guys, hello, welcome. Today we are going to talk about holidays in the UK and the USA. And by the way, happy Saint Nicholas Day, guys. Uh, but first of all, let's get to know each other, right? So, hello everyone, my name is Olha. Uh, I would be really glad to know your names. So tell me, please, what is your name? You can write in the chat. Друзі, якщо я раптом пропущу чиєсь ім'я чи чиєсь повідомлення, дуже вас прошу не ображайтеся, тому що часом чат швидко йде, і я можу не встигнути оголосити все, що написано, але я точно бачу всі ваші повідомлення. So, guys, uh, hello, hello everyone. So tell me, please, what is your name? Let's get to know each other. Okay. Okay, right. So, what's your name? Mm -hmm. Okay, Daniel, Yaroslava, Katya. Hello, guys. Hello, welcome. Uh -huh. Artem, Evelina, Yulia. Uh -huh. Artem, Anton, Sergei. Sergei. Right, guys. Yeah, let's try to spell it in English, right? Uh -huh. Igor, Max, Nadia, Daria, Polina. Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Andrew. <laughs> okay, Artem, Uliana. Uh huh. All right. Hi, Roma, Diana. Great, guys. Thank you very much for your messages. Right. Uh, yeah. So today we're going to talk about holidays because holidays are approaching. They are coming soon. Uh, right. So, guys. First of all, let's talk about the following. I want us to play the game, which is called "Would You Rather." But first of all, let's check the video quality and the sound quality. So tell me, please, can you hear me well? Can you see me well? So if you can hear me well, if you can see me well, put a plus. Так, давайте ми спочатку перевіримо, що у нас зі зв'язком. Отже, якщо ви мене добре бачите та чуєте, поставте, будь ласка, плюс у чат. Okay. Yeah, you can, you can say yes, you can put a plus. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, today we are going to talk about holidays in the UK and the USA. We will discuss some of the holidays. We will talk about some vocabulary, mm -hmm, some traditions. Okay, okay, great. Cool, cool, thank you very much. Okay, so I can see that um, you have good connection. You uh, can see me well, you can hear me well. That's great. So guys, I suggest, first of all, let's play a game. Let's play a game. Would you rather? So you will have to pick one answer only, right? So you will have to pick this or that. Would you rather? Так, що б ви краще хотіли, так? Буде два варіанти, треба обрати один. So let's play would you rather and pick one answer only. Remember, one answer only. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So tell me, please. Would you rather spend a snowy day outdoors or spend a snowy day indoors what would you choose choose only one you can choose only one so would you rather spend a snowy day outdoors or spend a snowy day indoors what is better for you mm -hmm. so would you rather spend a snowy day indoors excuse me outdoors or indoors uh-huh Okay, outdoors, outdoors. Yeah, a lot of people who like being outdoors when it's snowy, right? Indoors, uh-huh. Indoors, outdoors. Yeah, but, but most of the answers are about outdoors. Yeah, because we are waiting for the snow, right? We, we really want to have some snowy days. Mm -hmm. Okay. Indoors, indoors, outdoors, uh-huh. 50-50, well, you have to choose just one. This is, that's uh, the point of this game. So you choose just one. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, we don't have snow, but if we had, 
if, if we had, would you rather spend a snowy day outdoors or indoors? Mm -hmm. uh, uh huh. Okay. Right. Spend outdoors. So most of you say outdoors, right? Because we are waiting for the snow. We really want that snow to be there, right? To spend some time outdoors in the snow. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you very much for your answers. Now, the next question. Would you rather give presents or receive presents? So, would you rather give presents or receive presents? What is better for you, guys? So, when you give somebody a present or when you get a present from somebody? Mm -hmm. Okay, receive presents. <laughs> Okay, receive, give presents, give, receive, receive presents. Yeah, we like receiving presents, aren't we? Uh, don't we, right? Uh huh. So, yeah. Give, give, receive, receive, <laughs> receive, please. <laughs> okay. Yeah, what is better for you? To give somebody a present or to get a present from somebody? Give is better. Uh -huh. receive, receive presents, receive, yeah. Yeah, it's very, it's always pleasant to get a present from somebody, right? Mm -hmm. But it is also, it may be very, very fun and pleasant to give somebody a present they really wanted. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, guys, thank you. Thank you very much for your answers. Yeah, so most of you say receive, but still there are people who like giving presents. Okay, would you rather watch Christmas films the whole year, so th 365 days a year, or would you rather listen to Christmas songs the whole year? So all 330, um, excuse me, 65 days. What would you rather do? Watch Christmas films every day or listen to Christmas music? every day for a year mm -hmm. watch films uh -huh. listen okay films <laughs> watch films uh -huh. right films watch films watch christmas films yeah a lot of a lot of people who choose films okay great uh-huh listen to music watch christmas films uh-huh okay films <laughs> Christmas metal music. Yeah, okay. So for the whole year, only Christmas metal music. <laughs> okay. Listen to Christmas songs. Listen to Christmas songs, watch films. Okay, yeah. So here um I can see that it's um like half and half, right? So some people would rather watch Christmas films the whole year or some people would just listen to Christmas songs the whole year. Uh-huh. Okay. Right. Okay. So, thank you very much for your answers. Yeah. Very insightful. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, of course, we are approaching winter holidays. Uh, winter holidays will be here very soon. Today uh, is already one of uh, the winter holidays. But I suggest today we talk not only about winter holidays, but about other popular holidays in the UK and the USA. So guys, uh, first of all, tell me please, which Ukrainian holidays do you celebrate? So can you name the names of the Ukrainian holidays in English, of course? So which Ukrainian holidays do you celebrate? Can you tell me? Not just now, but through the whole year. So which Ukrainian holidays do you celebrate? Can you remember the names? <laughs> Okay, so, uh huh, all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so right now we are going very soon. We are going to have New Year, we are going to have Christmas, right? Uh huh, yeah, which other? Yes, I can already see Saint Nicholas Day. Yeah, we will call it Saint Nicholas Day, of course, Christmas, yeah. Kupala, yes, um, of course birthday <laughs> yeah of course you celebrate that but what about ukrainian holidays um yeah easter yes easter uh-huh okay yeah anything else any other holidays that you can remember saint valentine's day mm -hmm. yeah 
Okay, why not? Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? Which other holidays do we have? Do we have something maybe in summer or something else in spring? Except for Easter and uh, Ivana Kupala. Mm -hmm. Friday. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, in a way, Friday sometimes is a holiday. <laughs> okay, yeah. So I suggest uh, you here take a look at these names. Yeah, so of course, uh, we have a lot of different holidays. We have Christmas, we have Easter, we have New Year. Uh, we also have Christmas Eve. So this is on the 6th of uh, January or on the 24th of December, right? So this is Svetvecher, Christmas Eve. We have Women's Day, we have Day of the Defender on the 14th of uh, October, right? And we also have Independence Day, which we also celebrate, but in summer, right? Yeah, hello to everyone who has just joined. Hello, guys. We are talking about holidays today. Yeah, everyone is waiting for the new year. Okay, guys, but tell me, please, what holidays do people in the UK and the USA celebrate? So do you know the names of the holidays that people celebrate in the UK and in the USA? Can you tell me? So what holidays do people in the UK and in the USA celebrate? Do we have some differences uh, between our holidays and their holidays? Mm -hmm. Christmas, Christmas, okay, Halloween, yeah, okay, Easter, New Year. Yeah, Halloween, they do celebrate Halloween, right? Uh-huh, okay. Birth, uh, birthday of Martin Luther King. Okay, yes. Christmas Eve, Patrick's Day. Mm -hmm. Christmas, Independence Day, New Year. Yeah, great. A lot of great answers. Well, well done, guys. Well done. Yeah, UK Christmas, New Year. Uh, yeah, but it's not. It's it's uh, Saint Nicholas Day. Yeah. Okay. So, guys, today we are going to talk about some of them. Так, звісно, у нас не буде часу поговорити про багато різних свят, але ми спробуємо про декілька поговорити про те, як е, святкують їх у Британії та в Америці. So, today we are going to talk about holidays with such symbols. So, what are we going to talk about today? Які ж це у нас такі свята з такими символами, як ви думаєте? So, we have a, a rabbit, we have a turkey and we have a reindeer. So, which holidays are these? Do you do you have any ideas? Do you have any ideas? So, what will be the holidays we are going to talk about today? Okay, it's okay if you don't know. Так, якщо ви не знаєте раптом, все в порядку, ми зараз про це все все одно поговоримо. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, we have a rabbit or a bunny, we have a turkey and we have a reindeer. Yeah, and Turkey is a country. Yeah, it's also a country. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. It's okay. If you don't have any idea, it's fine. Okay. Yeah. So, guys, today uh, we will start with... Um, we will try to talk about holidays in different seasons. So, first of all, we will start with spring and we will start um, with Easter. Right. So, a bunny is of course a symbol of Easter. So let's start with this and for that let's travel to the UK. So we will talk about about Easter in the UK. But first of all, I have a question to you. So this is Easter, right? Now tell me please, the days when nobody works in the UK are called so when nobody works how do uh, they call these days? Museum holidays, shop holidays, bank holidays, or school holidays? Try not to Google it. So, how do they call the days when nobody works? Коли ніхто взагалі не працює. Так, тобто, це у нас державні вихідні. So, how do they call these days in the UK? Museum holidays, shop holidays, bank holidays, or school holidays? Коли взагалі ніхто не працює. Як ви думаєте, як називаються ці дні в Британії? Такі свята. So, mm -hmm. so museum holidays, shop holidays, bank holidays or school holidays. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Okay, a lot of different answers and D and B and A and C. Yeah, uh, okay, maybe D. Maybe, maybe, I will tell you. The lesson will last for one hour. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, guys, thank you very much for all of your answers. So the real answer is actually C bank holidays because uh, on this day even banks don't work usually banks work on different holidays but when uh, the, but there are some days when even banks close так навіть коли банки закриваються то це точно вже державне свято коли нічого взагалі не працює yeah so these are called bank holidays and easter is one of the bank holidays so guys uh, i suggest we take a look at some of the symbols of easter we will start with that so first of all, we have, of course, Easter Bunny. There will be a lot of cute things here because it's Easter. So we have Easter Bunny. Uh, next one, we have Easter Chick. This is also a symbol uh, in, Easter, um, in the UK for Easter. So we have Easter Bunny, we have Easter Chick. We have Egg Hunt, which is a game that children play to look for eggs. And we also have Hot cross buns hot cross buns do we have something similar here in ukraine do we have um something like hot cross buns hot cross buns mm -hmm. so do we have something like that at easter like hot cross buns Що ми можемо порівняти з британськими hot cross buns у себе в Україні um, на, на Великдень? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do we have? Like hot cross buns. Can you see what hot cross buns is? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Друзі, що може бути такого подібно у нас? Ну, звісно, воно не за формою подібне, але схоже, тому що це теж випічка. От в Британії є hot cross buns, а що ми маємо таке саме at Easter? Mm -hmm. Друзі, урок у нас триває годину, тобто він почався у нас о 12 і рівно за годину о першій він закінчиться, ну, можливо, там плюс-мінус 5 хвилин, так? Окей, okay, yes, we have Pasca, which is uh, our kind of pastry, так, це наша випічка на Великдень. В Британії на Великдень випікають hot cross buns. These are also sweet buns, um, yes, uh, with raisins, with something sweet. Окей, okay, guys, so let's repeat the words, okay? So I read, you repeat. Отже, я зараз пов... читаю, а ви повторюєте, щоб краще запам'ятати саме слово та його вимогу. So, at Easter in the UK, the symbols are Easter bunny, Easter bunny, Easter chick, Easter chick, egg hunt, egg hunt, and hot cross bun. Hot cross bun. Mm -hmm. Так, наша паска пишеться латинськими буквами так, як ми її чуємо. So it's P-A-S-K-A. -A. Так, дійсно. Okay, guys. So, now I suggest... Uh, let's take a look at this. So this is the text. I will read it to you right now. I will read it to you. Uh, and uh, can you find four mistakes about Easter in the UK? Отже, в цьому тексті у нас є чотири помилки. Їх слід знайти. Зараз я вам прочитаю цей текст. Ви можете прослідкувати за ним очима. Um, і будемо шукати помилки та виправляти їх у цьому тексті. So listen carefully. Easter in the UK is a popular winter holiday. Easter in the UK is all about chocolate. The main symbols of this, egg, of this day, eggs, mice and chicks, are made out of chocolate. For children, there is a game which is usually played in the garden or a park. It is called a chick hunt. Kids look for plastic eggs because every egg has a small toy or sweets inside. People also bake hot cross bread and eat it with butter or jam. Окей, okay, can you find some mistakes? Так, бачу, вже чудово, вже є перші повідомлення про помилки. Отже, друзі, пишемо у чат, де ви знайшли помилки, як їх потрібно виправити. So, 
uh, the text about Easter. Take a closer look at it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, a lot of different messages. Thank you very much. Thank you for your messages, guys. Ні, не в граматиці, в тексті. В самому тексті є помилки по змісту. Так? Щось, щось не так зі, зі змістом. Ага. Окей. All right, guys, thank you. Thank you very much. Right. Uh -huh. Так. Так, друзі, пишіть всі свої пропозиції у чат, і зараз ми разом їх виділимо ще раз і виправимо. Uh -huh. Okay, there are four mistakes. Four mistakes in the text. So, can you find what the mistakes are? Uh -huh. Four mistakes. Пригадайте, ми тільки що з вами говорили про різні символи, про те, що люди готують на Великдень е, в Британії. So, can you remember? Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. it's fine, it's fine. If you found um, two mistakes, three mistakes, one mistake, it's fine, it's okay. Добре, друзі, давайте ми подивимося, які ж у нас тут помилки, так? І бачу вже, що багато хто зразу їх виправляє, тож... Отже, наші помилки полягають у тому, що It isn't popular winter holiday. Mice are not the symbol. Mice are not the symbol. Uh, the name of the game isn't chick hunt. And hot cross uh, bread... Yeah, uh, yeah, it's just... It's uh, moved a little bit. So, uh, hot cross bread is also a mistake. Okay, how can we correct it? Отже, як же нам слід виправити ці помилки? Так, пишіть, будь ласка, ще свої пропозиції. Uh, хто ще не написав? Як ми можемо виправити ось ці помилки? So, okay, it's fine, yeah. If you found four of them, great, well done. If you found three or two or one, it's also fine, guys. It's okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, yeah. So, first of all, yes. Yes, first of all, it's a popular spring holiday. Yeah, because Easter, we celebrate Easter in spring. Uh-huh. Yeah, spring holiday. Yes, what about mice? Are mice... The symbol of Easter? Are mice the symbol of Easter? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Yeah, plastic eggs, yeah, they usually um, use plastic eggs, not real eggs. Так, діти, справ, справжні е, яйця розкидані по садку, діти не шукають. Зазвичай це пластикові яйця, в яких всередині вкладені якісь е, солодощі або іграшка. Так, ні, справжні не шукають. Окей. Okay. All right. Okay, guys, let's take a look. Давайте ж разом подивимося на те, як ми маємо виправити це. So, uh, first of all, uh, oh, excuse me. Yeah, there is a mistake. Так, е... отже, друзі, у нас першому має бути spring. Yes, so this is a popular spring holiday. Then the main symbols of these days are eggs, bunnies, або rabbits, and chicks. Yes, bunnies uh, and chicks. Then the game is called egg hunt. Так, оця гра, де вони шукають um, ці пластмасові яйця, вона називається egg hunt. And uh, they also bake hot cross buns. Hot cross buns. Так, тобто um, ось такі булочки вони випікають на uh, Великдень. Але uh, багато хто... Так, yes, I see, I see. So we have to, we should, to, we should correct that also. Так, я бачу. Ми це теж маємо виправити. Отже, it's a popular spring holiday. Yes, yes, guys, I see that. Thank you very much for pointing that out. Thank you. Uh, так, але uh, ті, хто писали, що uh, помилкою є те, що все в uh, Британії, що стосується Великого дня, воно стосується шоколаду. Так, uh, насправді це дійсно так. Uh, в Британії... Набагато більш важливіший шоколад на Великдень, ніж у нас, наприклад. Так? Усі солодощі готують з нього. Ем, дітям зазвичай дарують шоколад на Великдень. Yes, it is spring. Yeah, it is. Yes, there is a mistake. Thank you very much for pointing that out. 
Окей, гайз, thank you. Now, uh, let's take a look at the Easter menu. Давайте ж ми подивимося, що ж їдять в Британії на Великдень, ну, звичайно, окрім hot cross buns and chocolate. So our task will be to um, classify, are these dishes starters? Main courses or desserts. Отже, якщо страва, яку ви бач... будете бачити на екрані, є першою стравою, тобто закускою, вам слід написати букву S. Якщо це буде основна страва, треба написати MC. А якщо це буде десерт, треба написати букву D. Окей, давайте подивимося, що ж британці їдять на Великдень. So, first of all, hot cross buns. What is that? Is it a starter? Is it a main course? Or is it a dessert? So, hot cross buns. What is that? Is it a starter? Is it main course? Or is it a dessert? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, yes. It is, yes, right, right, you are correct, yeah, it is a dessert, yeah, because hot cross buns, they are sweet, yeah, they are sweet, and it is a dessert, mm -hmm. okay, what about roast chicken, what about roast chicken, so roast chicken, is it starter, is it main course, or is it dessert, so roast chicken, Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, dessert with two S. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So is it main course? Is it starter? Or is it a dessert? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, right, this is a main course, definitely. Main course, тому що запечена курка точно це основна страва. Okay, what about asparagus soup? So, asparagus soup. Mm -hmm. Asparagus soup, what is that? So, is it a starter, is it a main course, or is it a dessert? Asparagus soup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, it is soup, so it is a starter. Так, так як це суп, то це у нас перше. Тобто це з, з того, що починають е, взагалі трапезу. Okay, lemon cake. What about lemon cake? So all of these things they eat for Easter. Yeah, at Easter. So, lemon cake. What about lemon cake? Can you tell me? So, lemon cake. Mm -hmm. So is it a starter, is it a main course, or is it a dessert? Okay. Yeah, definitely. Cake, that's definitely a dessert. Yes, right. Okay, it is a dessert. Chocolate eggs? What about chocolate eggs? Yeah, they don't, they usually don't eat real eggs, but they eat a lot of chocolate eggs at Christmas, uh, at Easter, excuse me. So, yeah, they eat a lot of chocolate eggs. Not so many real eggs at Christmas, at Easter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, so, right, yeah, because they are chocolate, it is definitely a dessert. It is definitely a dessert. Spring vegetable salad, what about that? So, spring vegetable salad. Spring vegetable salad. So everything that grows in spring, they put it in a salad. So is it a starter? Is it a main course? Or is it a dessert? Spring vegetable salad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, here are some different answers. Yeah, some people say main course. Some people say starter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys, thank you. So it is actually a starter because it's a salad. So it's, uh, it's something you start your meal with. Так? Салату починаємо, тому це він відноситься до starters. Okay, spring vegetable salad. And the last one is lamb curry. Lamb curry. So lamb, this is uh, a young sheep, right? Lang lamb curry. Mm -hmm. So lamb curry. 
a lamb it's a young sheep right so what is it is it a main course is it a dessert is it a starter lamb curry so lamb lamb that's a young sheep and curry this is uh, curry так це така страва соусом так якщо я зараз буду далі продовжувати то я вже одразу скажу uh, скажу відповідь uh-huh. Окей. Okay. Yeah, it is main course. Карі – це така страва м'ясна, зазвичай, з соусом, з якимось м'ясом. Лем – це у нас ягнятина, так, з рисом, наприклад. Але так як Британія дуже довгий час мала зв'язки з Індією, то карі, індійська страва, в них є традиційною такою великоднією стравою в Британії. Окей, okay, so this is a main course. This is a main course. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Thank you for your answers, guys. Well done. Well done. So we know a little bit about a little bit more about Easter in Britain. Now let's travel to the USA. Okay, shall we? So we will travel to the USA because we are going to talk about Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. На початку року я бачила у чаті, що хтось написав про День подяки, тільки написав українською, а англійською цей день буде називатися Thanksgiving. Okay, so let's, um, let's talk a little bit about how Americans celebrate Thanksgiving. So for that, uh, first of all, I will ask you, how many turkeys do Americans cook every year? Turkey – це індичка, так? So what do you think? How many turkeys do Americans cook every year? 15 million, 24 million, 33 million, uh, or 46 million? So, what do you think? How many turkeys do Americans cook every year? 15 million, 24 million, 33 million, or 40, 46 million? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, yeah, thank you. Thank you for your answers. Aha, uh-huh. all right. A lot of different answers. Again, we cannot, uh, we cannot be sure here, but we will get uh, the answers very soon. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you very much, guys. Wow, you are so active. I really like when the chat is so active. Так, мені дуже подобається, коли чат такий активний, коли всі відповідають. Це дуже круто. Thank you very much, guys. Okay, so the real answer is D, 46 million. Can you imagine how many meat, turkey meat, Americans eat every year? So 46 million every year. So turkey is the main symbol of Thanksgiving, right? This is the main symbol. And usually Americans eat turkey uh, for Thanksgiving, right? On Thanksgiving, they usually cook turkey. This is the main dish. So guys, I suggest right now we watch a video about Thanksgiving. Try to remember as much information as you can. Так? Зараз ми подивимося з вами відео, спробуйте запам'ятати стільки інформації, скільки зможете про Thanksgiving, тому що вона нам ще знадобиться. Окей? Okay? Окей, okay, guys. So, tell me please, are you ready to watch the video? Put a plus if you are ready. Put a plus in the chat if you are ready to watch the video. So, are you ready? Mm-hmm. Готові дивитися відео? Якщо готові, поставте плюс у чат, щоб я знала. Okay, so you got your ears ready, your eyes ready. Great. Uh-huh. No? Okay, you have a little bit more, like several seconds to get ready. <laughs> okay. okay, guys, so let's watch. Let's watch. Okay, and listen, listen closely. Thanksgiving is a holiday that is celebrated in both Canada and the United States. In the United States, Thanksgiving is celebrated every year on the fourth Thursday of November. Each year on Thanksgiving Day, families gather together to eat a large meal. After they have finished eating the meal, families take the opportunity to share what they are thankful for that year. Turkey is always served during the Thanksgiving meal and often people put gravy on the side. Mashed potatoes and green beans are two other traditional Thanksgiving foods that most American families eat on Thanksgiving Day. Other traditional foods include cranberry sauce and corn. For dessert on Thanksgiving Day, 
Most Americans eat some sort of pie. Traditionally, Americans eat either pumpkin pie or apple pie. In addition to having a big meal together, another Thanksgiving tradition is watching the Macy's Parade on TV. The parade takes place in New York City, and people from all over the country go there to watch the parade each year. After the meal, many families sit down together and watch a football game. Black Friday occurs each year on the Friday that follows Thanksgiving. Black Friday is one of the biggest shopping days in America. On Black Friday, stores have huge sales and clothes are very inexpensive. People spend all day shopping and sometimes even leave their house in the middle of the night to get to the stores first. Okay, guys, so I suggest we re-watch the video again so we get to know the video. So right now, uh, let's re-watch it so you remember all of the needed information. Okay, so let's watch it for the second time. All right? Thanksgiving is a holiday that is celebrated in both Canada and the United States. In the United States, Thanksgiving is celebrated every year on the fourth Thursday of November. Each year on Thanksgiving Day, families gather together to eat a large meal. After they have finished eating the meal, families take the opportunity to share what they are thankful for that year. Turkey is always served during the Thanksgiving meal, and often people put gravy on the side. Mashed potatoes and green beans are two other traditional Thanksgiving foods that most American families eat on Thanksgiving Day. Other traditional foods include cranberry sauce and corn. For dessert on Thanksgiving Day, most Americans eat some sort of pie. Traditionally, Americans eat either pumpkin pie or apple pie. In addition to having a big meal together, another Thanksgiving tradition is watching the Macy's Parade on TV. The parade takes place in New York City and people from all over the country go there to watch the parade each year. After the meal, many families sit down together and watch a football game. Black Friday occurs each year on the Friday that follows Thanksgiving. Black Friday is one of the biggest shopping days in America. On Black Friday, stores have huge sales and clothes are very inexpensive. People spend all day shopping and sometimes even leave their house in the middle of the night to get to the stores first. Okay. Thanksgiving is a holiday. All right, guys. So this was it. Now, yes. Um, yeah, if you got hungry, you can go and grab something to, to eat. Yeah, if you got hungry because of the video, you can go and grab a bite. But please do come back with food to, to our lesson. Um, okay, guys, so now, after we watch the video, let's choose only true sentences. Okay, so I suggest we do it in the following way. If the sentence is true, you put a plus in the chat. If the sentence is false, you put a minus, yeah? Or you can choose, or you can write F or T. Так, отже, зараз будемо знаходити лише правдиві речення. Yeah, if you got hungry, you can go and grab a bite, but please go back right now, yeah. Just come back in a, in a second. So, guys, let's take a look. Thanksgiving is celebrated on the third uh, on the third Thursday of November. So, uh, is it true or is it false? Thanksgiving is celebrated on the third Thursday of November. Should we choose this sentence or not? Mm -hmm. Отже, пам'ятаємо, якщо це речення правдиве, можете писати T, якщо неправдиве, можете писати F, або можете писати плюс чи мінус. Ага. Окей. Окей. So, Thanksgiving is celebrated on the third, third Thursday of November. Is it true or is it false? Ага. Окей. Окей, thank you very much for all of your answers, guys. Thank you. So, it is actually... False. It is false. It is celebrated on the fourth Thursday of November. On the fourth Thursday. Не в, не в третій четвер, так, листопада, а в четвертий. Зазвичай це останній четвер листопада. Саме тоді святкують Thanksgiving. Yes, on the fourth Thursday of November. Yeah. Okay. Thanksgiving is a family holiday. Is it true or is it false? 
Thanksgiving is a family holiday. Is it true or is it false? So, Thanksgiving is a family holiday. Is it true or is it false? Can you tell me? Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, here you are more confident. Yeah, it is. Yes, guys. Yes, right. It is true. It is really a family holiday and usually families get together even if they live in different states. Так, так як Сполучені Штати це дуже велика країна, зазвичай саме на на день подяки та на Різдво сім'ї зустрічаються, так бачаться родичі. тому що в інші в інший час просто буде дуже довго Їхати, збиратися. Так, right, so this is a family holiday. People eat turkey, mashed potatoes and pies on Thanksgiving. Is it true or is it false? So, people eat turkey, mashed potatoes and pies on Thanksgiving. Is it true or is it false? So, what do you think? So, we watched some uh, parts of the videos where about food and you got hungry. <laughs> yeah, so is it true or is it false that people eat turkey, mashed potatoes and pies on Thanksgiving? Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, it is actually true. Так, традиційно саме індичка, ем, товчена картопля, те, що ми називаємо Так, і пироги – це традиційна їжа на День подяки. Yeah, usually there are just a lot of them. Yeah, a lot of them on the table. There is Black Friday before Thanksgiving. Is it true or is it false? So, there is Black Friday before Thanksgiving. There is a Black Friday before Thanksgiving. Is it true or is it false? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you very much for all of your answers. <laughs> uh-huh. Before, so um, if Thanksgiving is on Thursday, Black Friday is before, so one day before or maybe two days before or a week before. Mm-hmm. Ranisha, before. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys, it is actually false because Black Friday is after Thanksgiving. Так, так як у нас е, День подяки святкується в четвер, наступний день після Дня подяки це у нас Black Friday. Так, ця чорна п'ятниця, яка в нас теж вже е, доволі часто зустрічається, так, день, коли розпродажі величезні відбуваються в магазинах. Yes, it is false. It is false. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the last one. After Thanksgiving, people spend the whole day shopping. So after Thanksgiving, people spend the whole day shopping. Mm-hmm. So after, after Thanksgiving, what do people do? Do they spend the whole day shopping? Mm-hmm. So Thanksgiving has ended. Yeah, Thanksgiving has ended. And what do people do next after Thanksgiving? Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. Thank you very much for all of your answers. Yeah, it is true. Так, так як у нас після Дня подяки одразу Black Friday настає, то, звісно, люди цілий день проводять за покупками. І зазвичай це, саме в цей період вони планують і збирають вже всі подарунки на Різдво, так, скуповують. Okay, guys, thank you very much. So one of uh, one more thing that I would like us to do regarding Thanksgiving, put the words in the correct order to make the question. So all of these uh, words, they are not they are not in the correct order. Let's put them in the correct order. Отже, наше завдання зараз зробити запитання, скласти запитання з цих слів. So can you give me the suggestion? So we have the word you, what, are, for, thankful. So do you have any suggestions? So in which order should we put it? Окей, okay, як має звучати це запитання? Ага. Uh-huh. Right, so we have five words. You, what, are, for, thankful. Ага. Uh-huh. So how should this question... Um, how should this question sound? 
Uh -huh, ok. Ok, alright. A lot of correct answers already. Well done, guys. Great. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Ok, ok. Ok, thank you. Great. Great, guys. Thank you very much for all your answers. Yeah, so the question is, What are you thankful for? Це запитання, яке якраз стосується Дня Подяки, тому що однією з традицій на День Подяки є висловлювання вдячності усім людям навколо вас, усім рідним, усім, хто якимось чином вам допоміг. Тобто ми таки робимо наче підсумок усього року. So tell me, please, what are you thankful for? Давайте ми візьмемо цілий тиждень, який у нас був, так, який у нас вже пройшов, пройшов, тому що сьогодні неділя. So this week I am thankful For. What are you thankful for this week? Це може бути якась велика річ, а може бути якась невеличка річ. Просто щось, um, що um, змусило вас радіти, що, можливо, принесло вам якесь щастя, задоволення, um, можливо, хтось для вас щось хороше зробив. So, what are you thankful for? So, this week I am thankful for what? What are you thankful for? Можливо, хтось вам щось подарував, так, що ви давно хотіли, або, можливо, щось таке сталося хороше, за що ви комусь подякували. So, what are you thankful for this week? Mm -hmm. Ага, for my friends. Okay, for presents. All right. For candy. Ball. <laughs> okay, this week I'm thankful for grandma. Okay. For good marks. All right. Color lamp. Presents, yeah, a lot of different things. Candy for meeting my old teachers, cool. Uh huh. Nothing. It was the bad, the worst thing a uh, week in uh, your life. Well, I I do hope that the next week will be better for you. I do hope because winter holidays are coming soon, so I hope it will be better. Okay, for my lesson. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm thankful for friends, for holidays. Uh huh. Uh, for getting a present for my family. Okay, guys, yeah, so we can find a lot of things to be thankful for. Yeah, I, I'm thankful for chemistry, for my teacher. Так, дійсно, ми можемо знайти багато різних речей, за що можна подякувати, великих речей, маленьких речей. І саме в цьому суть цього свята, так, Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for my cat because she's my only friend. Okay, yeah, but cats can be very good friends. Yeah, believe me, I know. I know, yeah, because I have three of them. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. So, yeah, we've talked about Thanksgiving. Так як Thanksgiving у нас відбувається на прикінці осені, давайте ми зараз let's travel to the UK again. Yeah, but this time we will travel to talk about Christmas. Але тепер поговоримо про те, що вже буде зовсім скоро. Yeah. So let's talk about Christmas in the UK. Um. So, guys, first of all. I need to ask you, how is the day after Christmas, so the 26th of December, called? Boxing day, eating day, talking day or resting day? Так, Різдво у нас відбувається 25 грудня в Британії, а 26 відбувається ще щось. Як називається цей день? Boxing day, eating day, talking day or resting day? So, how is it called? It's also a holiday and by the way, it's a bank holiday. It's also a, a day when nobody works. So, how is it called? Is it called Boxing Day? Is it called Eating Day? Talking Day or Resting Day? Mm -hmm. So, okay. All right. Thank you very much for all your answers. Uh -huh. So, on the 25th we have Christmas, but on the 26th we also have something else. We also have a holiday. How is it called? Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you very much for all of your answers. So the answer is actually A, Boxing Day. Because on the 26th of, 6th of December, children usually open their presents and families in general, not only kids. 
families open their presents, так? А так як е, подарунки у нас зберігаються в коробках, саме цей день і називається тому Boxing Day. Yes, so Boxing Day, it is called Boxing Day. Це теж у нас bank holiday, коли всі відпочивають на другий день після Різдва. Yes. Okay, guys, so let's talk about some Christmas symbols and Christmas um, things connected with Christmas in Britain, okay? So, Christmas in Britain, what is that about? First of all, we have baubles. I really like this word. We can call them uh, Christmas ornaments, but not only, we can call them baubles. Це таке суто британське слово, яким ми називаємо ось ці ялинкові прикраси. So this is baubles. Next one, we have Christmas cracker. Christmas cracker, so you remember, I read, you repeat, так? Я читаю, а ви повторюєте вдома, щоб краще запам'ятати вимову та слово. So we have a Christmas cracker, так? Це така хлопавка, ми про неї поговоримо трошки пізніше ще. So, Christmas cracker, we have Christmas pudding, we have Christmas pudding, yeah? So this is usually a dessert that is served at Christmas in Britain, Christmas pudding. We have stockings, and we usually put presents there in the stockings. If, if, the, sm uh, if the presents are small enough, так, якщо подарунки достатньо невеликі, їх можна покласти якраз у ці stockings. Yes, okay, stocking. Next one, we have garland. Garland, у нас теж є подібне слово, так? Garland, гірлянда, яку ми вішаємо або на Christmas tree, або просто прикрашаємо нею будинок. So this is garland. Next one is presents, of course, what a Christmas is without presents. Of course, we have Christmas. Uh-huh. Okay. It's okay if you know both American and British English. Yeah, but here I suggest you to learn some British words, yeah? So you know more. Uh, we also have here coal, because it is said that children who misbehave, так, діти, які погано поводяться, um, їм Санта приносить coal. Замість подарунків їм приносить вугілля. Тому coal – це теж uh, річ, яка пов'язана з Різдвом в Британії. Yeah, so this is coal. And next one we have Father Christmas. В Британії ми називаємо його не Санта Клаус, а називаємо Father Christmas. Father Christmas. Так, ну, у нас, наприклад, є на Святого Миколая, е, кажуть, що діти, які погано поводяться, їм приносять, наприклад, лозинку. А в Британії е, тим дітям, які погано поводяться, на Різдво приносять coal. Так, Father Christmas brings coal. Yes. Okay, and the last one, of course, Father Christmas, так? Father Christmas – це те саме, що в Америці Санта Клаус, але це суто британська назва. Okay, Father Christmas. Okay, guys, so now I suggest we play a small game. Uh, let's play a, g a game What's Missing. What's Missing. So take a close look at all of these pictures. Подивіться уважно на всі ці речі, пов'язані з Різдвом в Британії, і спробуйте їх запам'ятати. I will take one thing out, and you will tell me what's missing. Так, я зараз заберу одну річ, з цих всіх, а ви маєте мені сказати, чого ж у нас не вистачає, що ж саме я забрала з цих символів, окей? Okay? Отже, подивіться уважно на них всі, запам'ятайте їх. Yes, of course we have Christmas tree also. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, now let's play. Let's play. Shall we take a look? What's missing? Can you tell me what's missing? Що я забрала тут? Чого не вистачає на цій картинці? So, what's missing? Do you remember what's missing? What's missing here? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what is missing? Чого не вистачає? Що я забрала з цього зображення? Okay, all right. Uh -huh. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay, yeah. Okay, right. Let's check, shall we? Давайте перевіримо. So, I took Christmas pudding. So, Christmas pudding, it is a dessert with dried fruit, sugar and spices. Так? Тобто, це ось така е, е, змішані разом висушені фрукти, цукр, цукор та приправи. І це називається Christmas pudding. When it is served, it is usually lit up on fire. Так? І його прийнято подавати підпаленим, так? Тобто він має трошки горіти. Um, yes, they usually add rum, uh, rum or brandy and it's lit up. 
Yes, so Christmas pudding is missing. Now tell me please, what's missing? А чого тепер не вистачає? So what's missing? Can you tell me what's missing here? So what's missing in this picture? Так, Christmas pudding у нас вже повернувся на картинку. Давайте ми пригадаємо, чого нам вистачає. So what's missing here? Угу. Окей. Ага, all right. Окей, окей. Угу. Так, тільки ми його не називаємо звичайною шкарпеткою, для нього є окрема назва. Ага, right, yeah. So what is missing? Christmas stocking. Stocking. So people hang stocking above a fireplace. So people hang stockings above a fireplace and children fi find their presents in stockings. Right. So this is Christmas stocking. Stocking. Так, оця велика шкарпетка, яку складають подарунки, вона називається Christmas stocking. Okay. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Now, tell me please, what's missing? Чого тепер у нас не вистачає? What's missing? So, what's missing? Uh-huh. Right. So, what's missing? Yeah. Так, панчоха. Ми можемо ще використовувати це слово в значенні панчоха. Стокі. Uh-huh. Okay, so what's missing? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. A lot of correct answers. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh, right, so, okay, let's check, shall we? So what's missing? Coal, yeah. Children who behaved badly can get a piece of coal for Christmas. Uh, yeah, usually it's not like that anymore, but in the older days, in the past, it, there was a chance that you you will get you would get coal if you misbehaved or if you behaved badly. So this is po tak vuhilla, right? And the last one, what is missing? What is missing? Do you remember the name of it? What is missing? What is missing? Can you tell me? Mm hmm. So, what is missing? Do you remember? There is one thing. It looks like a big candy, like, right? It's, it's, it's like a big candy, but it's something else and it's missing here. Uh -huh. Okay. Окей, давайте перевіримо. Так, давайте разом перевіримо. So, Christmas cracker. Зверніть увагу на те, як ми... <laughs> Ні, це не big candy. Як ми пишемо слово cracker. So, Christmas crackers usually have a toy, a joke and a paper crown inside. Це ось така іграшка, ну, це хлопавка, яку двоє людей тягнуть з різних сторін, і вона розривається. Хто отримує більшу частину, той виграє. І забирає те, що всередині. А всередині у нас a toy, a joke and a paper crown. Так? І паперова корона. І зазвичай в цих паперових коронах прийнято сидіти на різдво за столом і святкувати. Yes, it's a Christmas cracker. So, guys, uh, for the, the last task that I want us to do today, Christmas crackers, давайте трошки про них поговоримо ще, uh, Christmas crackers uh, jokes are usually very bad. Так, ось ті жарти, які всередині у нас лежать в Christmas crackers, зазвичай вони... They are not very funny. They are usually very bad. Match the jokes with the answers. There is one extra answer. Окей, okay, друзі, отже, у нас є чотири жарти. Зараз я вам покажу відповіді. Ваше завдання буде з'єднати жарти із відповідями. So the questions are, what do you get if you cross, так, cross це як змішати, поєднати. If you cross a Christmas tree with an apple, what do you call an old snowman? How does Christmas day end? And what do cats call an aquarium? 
Так, давайте подивимося на відповіді. Отже, як ви думаєте, на що, на які жарти у нас, які мають бути відповіді? So, what do you get if you cross? Так, якщо поєднати, what do you get if you cross? A Christmas tree with an apple. What do you call an old snowman? How does Christmas day end? And what do cats call an aquarium? So, mm-hmm. okay. Окей, okay. так, можете писати свої відповіді, усі, які е, думаєте, що підходять, може бути одна відповідь, може бути декілька. Окей, okay. so what do you get if you cross Christmas tree with, a, with an apple? Uh-huh. What do you call an old snowman? How does Christmas day end? And what do cats call an aquarium? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, thank you for all of your answers. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, most of these jokes, they are just uh, play of words. Так, зазвичай ці жарти – це якась гра слів, так, або щось таке трохи як логічне. Так, такі жарти можна знайти саме в цих всередині цих Christmas crackers. Ага, окей. All right. Yeah, okay, thank you very much for all of your answers. Thank you. Thank you. Так, пам'ятаємо, тут одна відповідь зайва. Вона, there is an extra answer, right? Mm-hmm. There is an extra answer. Okay, guys, let's check, shall we? Давайте перевіримо. So, what do you get if you cross a Christmas tree with an apple? A pineapple, yeah, because Christmas tree, they have pines on them, and apple, and together that's pineapple. <laughs> yeah, so this is the joke. What do you call an old snowman? Water, yeah, because snowmen, they melt. Yeah, so you call, you call it water. How does, Christmas end, uh, how does Christmas day end? With the letter Y. So Christmas day, that's letter Y. Yeah, and the last one, what do cats call an aquarium? A sushi bar. Yeah, because cats like fish. <laughs> yeah, so uh, these are the answers uh, to a pretty bad jokes from Christmas crackers. So guys, tell me please, what new words did you learn today? Що ж вам запам'яталося найбільше? What new words did you learn today? Okay, great. Так, якщо ви всі відповіді uh, правильно обрали, круто, вітаю вас. Okay, so what new words did you learn today? Were there any new words for you? Чи були якісь для вас нові слова? Щось нове дізналися? Ага. Окей. Коу, райт? Коу. Everybody will, will, tell, will uh, talk about коу. Окей. Так, ну навіть якщо не було ніяких нових слів, я впевнена, що ви повторили те, що вже було. Окей, окей, гайз, thank you very much. Добре, друзі, дякую вам за ваші відповіді. А тепер я б хотіла з вами поговорити про наш курс, тому дуже попросила б вас не вимикати поки що ефір. Дуже хотіла б вам розповісти про те, що нас очікує на цьому курсі. У нас сьогодні був такий відкритий вступний урок, який тривав годину. Зазвичай уроки в нас тривають годину 30. Um, і у нас перше заняття почнеться вже 27 грудня о 19.30. І взагалі уроки у нас відбуваються щопонеділка о 19.30 та щосуботи об 11.45. У нас вже майже сформована група, тому якщо вас зацікавив цей курс, то поспішайте замовити місце, тому що заняття ми проводимо у невеликих групках. Um, це 25 онлайн занять, звісно, вам нікуди не потрібно їхати. Заняття тривають, як я вже сказала, 90 хвилин, а не 60. Після кожного заняття ви отримуєте домашнє завдання, зазвичай це якісь творчі домашні завдання, часом тестові, часом завдання, коли я, наприклад, буду перевіряти перевіряти вашу вимову, чи те, як ви читаєте тексти. Окрім цього, після кожного заняття ви будете отримувати записи всіх уроків, презентації, якщо ви раптом пропустили щось. Ну і, звісно, буде контроль відвідування цих онлайн-уроків. Тобто, якщо раптом ви щось пропустили, забули, вам обов'язково про це нагадають. Сьогодні ціна такого заняття, такого курсу коштує 4300 гривень. Від завтра вже вона буде вищою. Саме тому, якщо вас зацікавило, 
було це, поспішайте, будь ласка, замовити, можете перейти за посиланням у нас в чаті. Якщо є якісь запитання, можете зараз їх теж написати у чаті. These private lessons, ну, заняття відбуваються у невеликій групі. Тобто це не індивідуальні заняття, але група невелика. Тобто це може бути 10 людей, до 15, так, але невелика група точно. Окей. Так, друзі, можливо, ще якісь будуть за запитання. Угу. If you don't have any questions, have a nice uh, Sunday and uh, happy winter holidays to all of you. Thank you all for your work. Uh, yeah, and I hope to see all of you at my course. So, guys. Друзі, чи будуть ще якісь запитання? Якщо будуть запитання, будь ласка, запитайте. If you don't have any questions, thank you very much for your work today. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, having uh, this lesson with you. Yeah, and have a nice, uh, have nice winter holidays. Mm -hmm. Okay. Окей. Так, друзі, бачу, що запитань більше, наскільки я розумію, немає. Окей. Yeah, then I thank you all and yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, and uh, have a nice Sunday. Goodbye. Bye-bye.